Hey Motorman here. If you happen to watch the video I did a couple of days ago and I told you while I was riding I was testing this Baker built wind deflector, fork deflector right here. And throughout the video I got to talking about other things and I forgot all about this. Anyway, after getting home and posting that video, I showed this on the video. Somebody mentioned it looks like it's upside down. And I looked at the instructions and sure enough, it was upside down. Now, I didn't put it on upside down. What happened was this is completely my wife's fault. And I told, I told my wife I was going to tell everybody what she'd done. So that's why I'm using the selfie stick because she said she won't be a part of this video since I'm blaming this on her. But that's what I'm going to do. What happened was I said, hand me that piece. And she handed it to me upside down. I didn't look. I put one bolt in and uh, it was upside down. So I flipped it over the proper way and I'm gonna take it for a ride. And a lot of people ask me about the Road King, which do I like better, the Road King or the Electric Glide? Well, they're the same bike really, but uh, uh, no question that the Electric Glide blocks a lot more wind from coming up and hitting you in the chest and in the face and much less uh, helmet buffeting on the electric glide. And what happens with the Road King is you get the wind coming over here, hits the front, goes over the top, and also quite a bit comes from underneath. And that's what this is supposed to help. And I'm gonna take a short ride. I'm gonna tell you about it. And you can hop on the back as usual, but keep your hands to yourself. We'll go for a ride. We'll talk about motorcycles and maybe even a little marriage thrown in there. Ready? It's a, it's a pretty windy day right now. In fact, we have a cold spell blowing in. Wind's coming from the north. And right now, speed 50 miles an hour. Yes, I can feel the wind, but it seems uh, I'm not getting any helmet buffeting. And it seems that the Bakerbilt fork wing is uh, it's doing its job. I would say it's cutting down probably about 50% of the wind that comes up from underneath. Now I notice if I lean forward like this, there's maybe 75% of that wind is blocked. But sitting in a normal riding position, it's doing its job. Is it worth 59 bucks? Yeah, I'd say so because 55, 60 miles an hour, I'm not getting any helmet buffeting. I don't feel any strong wind up uh, coming up from underneath the uh, my helmet, so it's working good. And getting back to uh, my wife Donna, and I, I know I know everybody loves her because she's so cute and everything, and she's a little bitty thing, and she rides really good. But you know how they are, the women. Sometimes they'll do stuff just to stick it to you. So that's why I'm blaming her for handing me this fork deflector upside down. It's completely, totally her fault. And I'm gonna tell you a little story, kind of stuff that she does to me. Now, this is a, a little while back. She's uh, mopping the floor, and she's squeezing out the mop in the sink, and, and she's cursing, you know, how they do. Anyway, I said, what's the matter? What's the problem? I really don't wanna know what the problem is because it might involve me having to do some kind of work. But she said, this mop is, it, it, it's shot. Look, pieces are falling off of it and clogging up the sink. So, okay, I don't say anymore, I walk away. Well, a couple of days later, I happened to be going into the dollar store right up the street here. I don't remember what I was getting, but on the way in outside, they had several little displays. You've probably seen them. They'll put, you know, t-shirts and stuff out there. So, anyway, they had uh, a couple of bins of mops. You know these these new type of mops that you could squeeze the end of it it's anyway i noticed that they have some of them are like three bucks some of them are five dollars i think the best one was six or seven dollars and i remembered you know the women think we don't listen to them but i remembered her whining about the mop she's got is no good anymore so i i grabbed one i got her the best one the deluxe mop so then i pick up whatever else i needed and i i come home and I said, hey, honey, you know how you're always saying, I don't listen to you. Well, look what I got you. And she takes the mop and she looks at me. She says, you're giving me a mop for my anniversary. I forgot completely that it was an anniversary. Now, not that it was, I forgot the date. I had actually, I think, bought her a new Harley for anniversary. But anyway, 
it happened to be the day that day was our anniversary and I'm giving him the mop so I said no babe I didn't get you the mop because it's our anniversary I just got it for you because I'm sensitive I heard you think I don't listen to you but I heard you a couple days ago whining about the mop so I got you and this is the best one I said check it out this is not the two I could have got you the two dollar one but I got you the best mop they had at the dollar store so what does she do she forgets about it for the moment and we're talking with some friends a couple of weeks later and they said you know we just had our anniversary she said yeah and he got me a mop you know <laughs> So I tell my part of the story, but nobody believes me. She completely forgets that I bought her a brand new $20,000 motorcycle about a week before our anniversary and said, this is your anniversary present. But no, she remembers the mop, the deluxe mop, no less. But anyway, this is just a quick video. I got to stop and get some gas. You don't need to see that, but the deflector is working. I would recommend it. And they make several different products for all kinds of motorcycles that Baker built. So I'm going to put a link right down below so you know what to get or where to get whatever it is that you happen to need. But I would recommend this. It's worth the 60 bucks. Probably last a lifetime. There's nothing on it. It's not like a moving part that's going to wear out. So till next time. And don't forget, hit that subscribe button. The way I'm able to bring these videos to you a couple of three times a week is because people subscribe. And uh, when people advertise on my video which by the way I have no control over who advertises it that's up to YouTube but when I people do that I get a little bit of money each month and I'm looking to get a hundred thousand subscribers I'm hoping that you'll subscribe click that little bell so you'll be notified each time each time I come out with a new video so I'll see you in a couple days